For residents of Metro Manila, the acid test for any monitoring technology is if it can solve the traffic problem. We have seen how the command centers in Manila and Pasig work. But what about at the MMDA? For the exasperated commuter, the answer is obvious. But bear with us for a moment and see how MMDA's Metro Base functions. For without it, traffic can be much, much worse. The chaos that fills this room helps bring order to the country's major roads. This is the MMDA Command Center, or Metro Base. Metro Base houses the Traffic Mirror, the Philippines' first ever digitized traffic information system. It brings motorist real-time traffic data through the use of cutting-edge technology and an integrated monitoring system. The Metrobase group is a 24 by 7 operation. So we receive reports from our field personnel through our radio communication. Also, we receive uh, public concerns through our 136 hotline. We also view traffic situations from our CCTV cameras. As of now, the MMDA has about 250 CCTV cameras spread out in various locations to cover the major roads and highways in Metro Manila. The traffic mirror user can choose from three available views, the system view, the line view, and the map view. These provide not just data on vehicle flow, but also other variables that factor in in the traffic situation, like mall sales, roadworks, accidents, early class dismissals, and other major events. At the command center, the traffic signals can be remotely controlled with MMDA's state-of-the-art traffic signalization system, which was launched last year. Ah, uh, pag congested naman sa area, kung yare sa edsa pa northbound, pwede mo siyang tagtagan ng green time. This is expected to reduce vehicle congestion and travel time by making the flow of traffic more efficient. The CCTV feed goes through a base station. Information is then transmitted to the command center. At the command center, servers receive and filter the data. The video feed is then processed by operators and concerned departments. Lahat po ng camera ay konektado dito sa metro base sa pamamagitan ng wireless equipment sa fiber network technology. Lahat ito ay sabay-sabay nakikita ang mga real-time na video feeds natin. The integration of information is complicated. Sophisticated equipment and expert knowledge are vital in information processing to make the data more comprehensible to end users. Radio operators and field personnel deployed all over the metro work to gather and filter the bulk of information that comes in. There is also the MMDA Hotline 136. This is where tips, complaints, and suggestions from the public go through. Usually, ang mga report sa amin is sa mga vehicular accident, stalled vehicle, and then ang mga road rehab blocking. Kung halimbawa, mayroong kang confirm nga na report, una muna, ilalag namin dyan, and then uh, itatransfer dito sa aming CAD para sa records din namin. And then, uh, tsaka namin ibibigay, ibibigay sa aming mga kasama dito sa Twitter o sa Facebook or sa Navigator. Or kung halimbawa naman, may nakita sa CCTV, kami naman yung nagbabato ng information doon naman sa ano, enforcers na sa field. The hotline gets especially busy during rainy days where reports of floods delude the command center. Fire incidents, accidents, even crimes are also tipped off via the hotline. The social media is another powerful tool in traffic monitoring. From the traffic situation from the roads to the accident alerts to advisories, um, we want all of those things to reach the public as, as fast as possible and that's through Twitter. So the Facebook is aimed for collating all the concerns and public related queries na natatanggap ng agencies. 
the social media division maintains not just Facebook and Twitter accounts, but also the MMDA Traffic Navigator application. Dahil ito tayo po kami nag-traffic update para po malaman ng motorist kung sa oras na yun ay traffic at kung anong problema na ito. They answer queries posted by netizens and attend to cyber tipsters. We make it a point na integrated na lahat ng binabato sa radio and lahat na nakikita ng CCTV na ibigay sa Twitter and Facebook para mailabas sa social media namin. Dapat informed ang driving public and commuting public natin about everything that's happening on our road, major roads kasi lahat tayo dumadaan ng EDSA, lahat tayo dumadaan ng C5. Indeed, this integrated monitoring system has made the MMDA's job a lot easier. It has become indispensable in mega events. The movement of the Translacion during the Feast of the Black Nazarene in Manila was monitored via the MMDA CCTV cameras. And just recently, the MMDA was able to remotely monitor all locations for its successful Big One earthquake drill. Another project in the pipeline is the MMDA's partnership with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources to apprehend smoke belchers. The MMDA's integrated monitoring system has changed the way traffic information and other variables are processed and used. But they are not stopping there. Looking forward, the MMDA has great plans for the system. It's a game changer in so many ways. The citizen is also empowered to make informed decisions to get into the final destination, avoiding areas that are heavily congested. Our target here for now is to, ex to expand the uh, remote monitoring and capability of the system and also that by 2016 it is our target that there will be no blind spot along EDSA. The National Capital Region Police Office or NCRPO also recognizes the importance of monitoring systems and CCTV cameras in maintaining peace and order. It has worked with MMDA in numerous instances in solving crime. The CCTV helps in prosecuting the case. We have what we call rules on, on electronic evidence that is admissible to the CCTV, provided of course that there is some authentication to the court. No? nakikita natin yung modus operandi ng ano ng respective na criminals. Ngayon, pe, pwede nating magamit sa manhunt operation. Meron pa tong preventive measure eh, dahil yung mga potential criminals kung alam nila na may CCTV sa area, eh, medyo hindi sila magko-commit ng crime. In Pasay, CCTV cameras have also helped in successful criminal apprehension. Last June, meron kami krimen dito kung saan yung Isang lalaki, ninakaw ang bisikleta. Nakita siya through CCTV, then eventually, nahuli siya because of CCTV. Kung noon, bago ang CCTV natin, kung weekly, eh, meron akong krimen na apat, lima, weekly, ngayon negative because of CCTV. Indeed, the CCTV has become a reliable partner in crime solution and prevention. CCTV gives us a picture, a panoramic, panoramic view of what is happening outside. Siyempre, you have to coordinate with the police, coordinate with the proper authorities uh, to solve the problem. Uh, this is just an aid, an aid, no? But people, institutions, have to move around. Technology may be a great innovator, but the other game changers in this episode are the public servants who are willing to embrace new tools and systems to solve problems, to constantly improve service to their constituents, to change the game. Before I go, remember, anything, anybody, any idea can be a game changer. Are you?
need help fast, who you gonna call? Okay lang ba yun? Who you gonna call? <laughs> Midas Hotel and Casino, a contemporary, design-led lifestyle hotel in the majestic hub of Manila with fabulous views of sunset on the bay. Midas offers designer amenities and guest rooms and suites, supreme restaurant options for sumptuous enjoyment, event studios for corporate meetings and vows, and a casino with world-class gaming. Here at Midas, we make days into moments. Sparkling creativity, it's stylemanship by Midas.